Before we hop into the video, I just wanted to share some news with everyone out there who likes to collect horror movies or is trying to build their horror collection. Horror Pack is a monthly subscription service that sends out a box to all their subscribers containing four horror movies at random. They send out a box every month to everyone that subscribes to them, including four horror movies at random inside of the box. So if you want to select Blu-ray or DVD format, they do have those options as well. Those are the two options you have available to you. They have different subscription plans you can choose from. So whether you want to stay subscribed for a month, three months, six months, or a year, they have different pricing options for each format. They have the pricing options for the DVDs and the pricing options for the Blu-ray format as well. I will leave a link to that website down in the description of this video. And if you do decide to become a subscriber to them, you can get $3 off your first horror pack box by using the code it follows. Again, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the website. And if you decide to describe to horror pack and build your horror collection, you can get $3 off of your first box using the code it follows. With that in mind, let's get into the video. what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so last night was the world premiere of the 2018 halloween film directed by david gordon green they had their world premiere last night at the toronto film festival the first showing was at 11 30 and i believe the second showing was around 12 it was part of the midnight madness event and surprisingly enough yep the 2018 Halloween film has been getting rave reviews from critics from the festival. Fans have also been tweeting out their reaction for the film. I haven't seen anything negative come out for this film. So it looks like we're going to be getting a finally after so many failed opportunities. We're finally going to be getting a, a fellow or an actual real follow up to the original film that lives up to the hype. Because I know the last time we actually got something close to this was with Halloween H2O I believe. Halloween Resurrection was a failure with critics and then the remakes they were both failures with critics from Rob Zombie when he did his thing with the series. So it's nice to see that after 20 years we finally have another Halloween film that has been able to get over with fans and critics alike. Um, what I want to pinpoint, or, or, the reason why I have David Gordon Green on the screen for a minute is because I want to actually acknowledge the fact that this man, he, he himself, when he's coming from he has no experience in the horror field, if I'm not mistaken. So for him to come from the background, similar to what Jordan Peele did with his comedy stick and be able to do so well with a horror film, that, that says a lot about David Gordon Green's direction. I have not seen too many of his movies. I know he can direct well because I've seen a few of his movies, but I haven't seen all of them. I've seen the notable mentions. Uh, but the fact that David Gordon Green apparently has been able to create a modern day classic in the Halloween series, that's something that I believe we all should be able to tip our hats off to him. I want to say congrats to David Gordon Green and his whole crew, everyone who worked on Halloween, congratulations. If you're still looking at the video coming across the screen or some of the tweets that a lot of the people who were at the Toronto Festival had to say about the film after they saw it, everyone seems to have loved it. There's, a, there's one scene apparently in the film or an entire subplot that should have been forgotten and, and apparently it involves uh, something connected with Michael. It has, it has nothing to do with like a revealing a backstory or anything, but it's a character that's a bit annoying when he gets on screen, I guess, or it's not developed properly or doesn't come across well on screen. Apparently this film also has a, has a Get Out-esque environment to it, so apparently there's a lot of comedy in it. I will say that's something I do not, I do not like hearing that. I don't I do not like hearing that there is a lot of comedy in this film, but what I do appreciate is that apparently they're balancing they're balancing it well with the horror. I that's one thing I will give them credit for since apparently that's what's that's what's working so well with this film, the fact that they they experience they go through all these different things in the film and they're they're able to balance it so well with the looming presence and danger of Michael Myers all at the same time. And apparently the film does give some form a the film does give some form of closure to the series. So hopefully I get what I want here. Hopefully they do not plan to do a sequel. Hopefully something happens here that ends the story on a nice on a nice position. Hopefully the series goes untouched. Of course if they make a sequel to this movie I'm not going to complain I'm gonna see it <laughs> I mean if they make money off of it and they decide to do a sequel I will not complain I will support it 
because yeah this movie is getting rave reviews from the festival critics are praising it fans who were present in the audience last night they are praising it I'm just really happy right now that we finally, after all these years, have a Halloween film that we more than likely can be proud of at the end of the day after we get to see it on October 19th. I know Dave McRae was there. Dave McRae is an established YouTuber. Check his channel out. I highly recommend him. He has been also heavily covering the upcoming Halloween 2018 film. He was present last night. He did a, he did a live stream after the event. He did not, none of his body motions or his body, his body posture gave away his official thoughts towards the film and that's what I liked about it his his friends however did with Dave I couldn't tell whether he liked or disliked it and that's why I I me myself personally I've always been a big fan of his channel so definitely I would definitely check out Dave McRae's review for the film when he posts it I believe he's gonna post it later today but yeah the shape appears to be back and he's in great form I'm glad that Michael Myers has been re has been reverted back to his original form I'm glad we no longer have to worry about the corn the thorn stuff we don't have to worry about any of the stuff that tarnished the character that came in the in the uh, previous sequels past Halloween 2. It seems like David Gordon Green, Jason Blum, Jamie Lee Curtis, John Carpenter even. It seems like they've done they've done it again or they managed to do do it again in the Halloween series. They managed to bring the Halloween series back to life. Hopefully this movie does well at the box office. Hopefully it continues to get these rave reviews because I know it's going to be shown in a few other festivals before it comes out officially on October 19th. I myself personally, I am going to see this movie opening night. So I will be seeing it on October 18th when it hits theaters that Thursday night. And then I will be doing my review on the film shortly after, immediately after I leave the theater. So if you guys were present at the Toronto Film Festival last night and you enjoyed the film, let me know down in the comments section below. If you see your tweet come across the screen, let me know because I am going to be tagging people in the video whose tweets are present when I post my video officially on my social media platforms. So hopefully those people get to see their mentions on my video. Um, I'm glad everyone enjoyed themselves last night. If you guys plan to see Halloween when it comes out officially on October 19th, let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video and if you're happy to hear that the shape has been reverted to his original form and is getting critical praise, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description of this video will be links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I also have a Patreon. So if you would like to help the channel grow, you can donate to the Patreon. You do not have to donate if you do not want to. But with all that in mind, guys, I will be back in the future with more videos. Let me know what movies you want me to review down in the future. I mean, down in the comment section below.